Hello! In this video, we are going to prove that for all natural numbers n, that is numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, that 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2. So for instance, if we had n equal to 67, then it turns out 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus 66 plus 67 is equal to 67 times 68 divided by 2. Right, and that's really the idea. But how do we actually prove this? Well, we are going to use mathematical induction, right? Yeah, that's probably what you're thinking is all, right? Now, to actually apply mathematical induction, if you recall, we start by proving the base case. And in the base case, what we're really doing is we're proving that this statement is true when n is equal to zero. Now, if n is equal to zero, I think it's pretty clear that this sum is equal to zero. Because really, this is a sum where we are basically summing all the way up to n, right? Which means we stop adding once we reach n. But because n is equal to zero, that means we stop adding once we reach zero. So really, this sum is just zero plus nothing else because we stop once we reach zero. But zero is really just equal to zero times zero plus one over two. Right, it's pretty easy to check that this fraction is equal to zero, but since n is equal to zero, we can just replace these zeros with n. And so really, we have shown that this is true in the case where n is equal to zero. And so that proves the base case. So now we are going to move on to the induction step. Now, if you recall, in the induction step, what we do here is we pick out an arbitrary natural number n, and we're assuming that the arbitrary natural number n that I picked out was one where this equality holds. The whole idea of the induction step is to prove that this statement also holds if instead of n, we had n plus 1. Okay, so then let's take the sum all the way up to n plus 1. Now really, we can take this sum and rewrite it as 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus n plus n plus 1. And I'm actually going to put parentheses between the 0 and the n. The reason why is because it turns out this parentheses is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2, right? Because this is the thing that we are assuming about the arbitrary natural number that we picked out. So really, I can replace the parentheses with n times n plus 1 over 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine this into a single fraction. And so to do that, we're going to get a common denominator of 2. And so to do that, I'm going to take n plus 1 and multiply it by 2 over 2. So just like that. And then we can add these two fractions together. Now notice in the numerator, we can factor out n plus 1 so that we get n plus 1 times n plus 2. Now, I really want to emphasize that n plus 2 is just n plus 1 plus 1. Because now we have proven that this statement is true if instead of n, we replace it with n plus 1. Right? The reason why is notice this is a sum from 0 to n. And then over here, we have n, n, 1, n, 2. And what we have now shown in the induction step is that this is a sum from 0 to n plus 1. It's equal to this thing, which is really just n plus 1, n plus 1, 1, and 2. So it's exactly what we have here, but instead n is replaced with n plus 1. And so, yeah, this proves the induction step. And mathematical induction says that if we've proven the base case and we've proven the induction step, then that amounts to proving that our statement holds for every natural number. So by mathematical induction, this is true. And so this completes the proof. So this sort of gives you a taste into mathematical induction. And that's 
pretty much the idea of how you could use it to prove that the statement is true for every natural number. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty much it for this video.